The Philadelphia PGA is celebrating 90 years. 90 years of excellence in leadership. 90 years of world-class tournament play. 90 years of contributing to charities. And 90 years of growing the game of golf. What began with just 50 members in 1921 has grown to more than 700. During the late 1800s, professional players from Scotland migrated to the United States to teach this new game called golf. For 16 years, veteran players from the British Isles won the newly created U.S. Open. That streak was broken when Philadelphia's Johnny McDermott won in 1911 and 1912, becoming the first homebred to win the U.S. Open championship. Then, in 1916, golf professionals felt the need to organize. They formed the PGA of America. The first president was Robert White, who had been the pro at Shawnee in 1914. Originally, there were seven PGA sections encompassing the entire United States. Pennsylvania and Delaware were in the southeastern section. The organization created its own tournament, and White Marsh Valley's Jim Barnes won the initial PGA championship. Due to the size of the seven PGA sections, many pros had to travel long distances for meetings and tournaments. In 1921, the officers formed a committee to study the best geographical way to solve the problem. The committee's proposal was to create 24 sections out of the original seven. Philadelphia's golf professionals moved quickly. On December 2nd, 1921, 30 golf professionals held their first official meeting. Tradifferin Country Club professional Bob Barnett was elected the first president. The section's proposed boundaries would encompass eastern Pennsylvania, southern New Jersey, and the state of Delaware. In June of 1922, the Philadelphia section held its first championship, and Charlie Hoffner, who had been a caddy at the Bala Golf Club, captured the title. During the 1930s, four of the country's most successful tournament players were employed in the Philadelphia section. Henry Pickard, Byron Nelson, Denny Chute, and Leo Deagle won 10 major championships. Sam Snead and Ben Hogan arrived in the section during the early 40s. Combined, they won 16 major championships. Other major tournament winners from the section were Art Wall, Jim Furyk, and Pete Oakley. Along with the game's best players, the PGA Championship came to the Philadelphia section three times in five years. Ed Dudley, national president for seven years, was instrumental in bringing those tournaments to Philadelphia. In 1938, at the Shawnee Country Club, Paul Runyon demolished Sam Snead in the final eight and seven. Two years later, Hershey Country Club hosted the PGA Championship. Two Hall of Fame pros met in the final as Byron Nelson edged out Sam Snead. Then, Seaview Country Club played host to the 42 PGA where Sam Sneed defeated Jim Ternisa. Sneed would be in the Navy two days later. Ternisa was already in the Army. In September 1941, the Philadelphia section helped the PGA of America celebrate its 25th anniversary at the Bellevue Stratford Hotel. With the country at war, the section professionals turned their attention to wartime charities. Marty Lyons became Philadelphia section president and he gave Leo Deagle full authority to use section tournaments for the war effort. Deagle put together an exhibition match hosted by the Bala Golf Club. $4,000 was raised and donated to the Valley Forge General Hospital in Phoenixville. The golf professionals decided to build a golf course for the rehabilitation of wounded servicemen. Marion's green superintendent, Joe Valentine, helped the pros lay out a nine-hole course. The Philadelphia section professionals donated equipment and began instructing the servicemen. The PGA continued to find Philadelphia a popular home for its championship. Now National Secretary, Lyons convinced the PGA to bring its 1958 championship to Lanark Country Club. Thousands swarm over the Lanark Country Club near Philadelphia for the Professional Golfers Association Championship first ever decided by stroke play. Dow Finsterwald shot a 276 to win the title by two strokes. 
The young man who finished second in his first PGA Championship finishes first in his second. A bridesmaid so many times, Dal Finsterwald finally walks down the aisle a champion. Four years later, a Ronamink golf club hosted the PGA. A winding country road in eastern Pennsylvania becomes paved with gold in the July sun as the world's great golf professionals arrive at a Ronamink golf club to seek their fortunes in the 44th PGA Championship. A Ronamink provides a regal setting for the third jewel in America's triple crown of golf. To club officials, the staging of the 1962 National Championship of the Professional Golfers Association of America augurs the most significant event in the 62-year history of the course, and they're determined to make it the finest ever played. The long course at Aronimink hasn't been an easy task for the world's best golfers, and only Gary players under par for 54 holes. Gary calmly hits it down the middle, and players 70th stroke of the day, and 278th of the tournament wins the coveted PGA Championship. Gary Player becomes the first resident of a foreign country ever to win the PGA. For doing it, he receives the Rodman Wanamaker Trophy from PGA President Lou Strong, and most important, the biggest PGA check ever, $13,000. More changes came with the naming of Leo Fraser as section president. The section initiated a caddy scholarship fund and a golf show. After leading the Philadelphia section for five years, Fraser was elected national president, where he calmed a dispute between the club pros and the touring pros. As a result, the tournament players division was formed. Along with that, PGA created a club professional championship for the home pros, which Philadelphia's Ed Doherty would later win. Another major change came under national president Henry Poe, who had been the professional at Reading Country Club for 27 years. All European pros were now able to compete in Ryder Cup matches, leading to unparalleled success for that international competition. In 1978, under Dick Smith, who would go on to be national president, the section initiated junior clinics and a junior tour. Today, the junior tour has grown to nearly 90 events. Over the years, the Philadelphia PGA continued to respond to national emergencies. At the time of the 9-11 attacks, the PGA had the right man in place as Jack Connolly, a veteran of Vietnam, was national president. Many decisions, along with the need to postpone the upcoming Ryder Cup matches, had to be determined. For more than 35 years, the Variety Club and its physically handicapped children have been benefiting from the Philadelphia section. The section professionals instituted a buddy program where they teach golf to the boys and girls. The section has raised more than $200,000 for the Variety Club. Honors have been plentiful in the Philadelphia section as eight members have won national PGA awards. For 90 years, the Philadelphia PGA has run tournaments, instructed the golfers, and interpreted the rules. From humble beginnings, the PGA has become the world's largest working sports organization. Now, all PGA members must complete three business schools and a playing test. As experts in the game of golf and the business of golf, your local PGA professional continues to make golf a better game.